Hey everyone, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today on our 2024 Chevy Silverado 1500, we're gonna be showing you how to install the Pace Edwards Jackrabbit tonneau cover. But before we get into that, let's take a minute, check this out and make sure it's gonna be the right cover for you. There's a ton of different tonneau covers out on the market, especially available for these Chevys. And what one is gonna be best for you, uh, I really just feel like depends on what you're looking to get out of it. You know, are you looking for aesthetics? Are you looking to keep the stuff inside your bed dry for the most part? Or are you looking for security or all three? Um, for those of you that just want a cover back here to keep the weather off of your stuff a little bit and keep it out of sight, a roll up style one would work. Um, but those, keep in mind though, they don't really secure anything in your truck bed. You know, they're not gonna lock, they're easy to cut open and get right in. Um, if you're looking for aesthetics uh, to keep things much more secure and uh, pretty much dry, a cover like this one here or even a fold-up one uh, might be a good solution. Those fold-up ones are usually in three or four different sections and you can kind of fold them back as you go. Um, a lot of times they're really hard and, and hard to actually get into because they lock down. And the same's gonna hold true with this one as well, but um, instead of it folding, it's going to roll up into this canister. A lot of people do worry about security, you know, having expensive tools and stuff, they leave in the bed of their truck. So this is gonna help with that because it does lock. And so with this locked and your tailgate locked, really no easy way to get in. I mean, I'm sure it's doable still, but uh, the person up to no good would really have to do some prying and trying to, to get in the bed. Uh, which kind of brings you to my next point. A lot of people wonder if this is going to work with this style of tailgate, um, which, you know, has this multi-fold deal going on here. And the answer is yes. No issues there. It's not really going to change anything. Um, it'll work with the regular style tailgates as well. Uh, so a couple things that I noticed with this one, there's a lot of things I like and a couple of things I'm really not too crazy about, to be honest with you. Um, one of them is how this opens. I'm really not too crazy about it. So you'll have um, a couple different ways of doing this, right? So this lock mechanism, when it's unlocked, you rotate that about 90 degrees and that'll unlock it and it's, it automatically retracts and it's so fast, you know, you're, I personally wouldn't want to just let it go and let it slam in there. So you're tempted to hold on to the strap, but if you apply pressure to the strap, it locks it in to a certain position. And maybe it's just cause it's brand new, uh, might slow down over time, but that's one of the things I'm not super crazy about, but uh, what's nice is you can uh, lock this in at different intervals, okay? So, so let's say if you had, um, you know, a partial load back here, it would lock in there, lock it in there, so on and so forth. So you can really customize everything and keep stuff covered up and still be able to haul taller items with the cover in place. One of the things I do like is the aesthetics, how it looks on the back of this Chevy. Um, and that has to do a lot with how flush these rails are. They're sitting right on top of the bed and really don't come up at all. Pretty much flush. Um, and I think it looks modern, uh, which brings you to my next point. The paint job on this is going to be a matte black style finish. And it seems like a lot of these, uh, uh, you know, parts manufacturers are starting to do that now, which I'm happy to see. I think it looks a lot better, um, kind of matches uh, a lot of these, these vehicles nowadays. As far as the part that's going to roll up into the canister and actually cover up the bed, it's kind of a hybrid because uh, the top is vinyl and underneath of it, it's going to be aluminum. And so you're going to get that durability um, and that protection as opposed to just like the, the soft roll-up style covers that are just a thin layer of vinyl. So you get kind of get the best of both worlds there. 
Um, if you're not looking for this style, um, you can get some that are all aluminum. The top will be aluminum as well. Like I said, there's tons of different options out there and you should definitely be able to find uh, something that you're, that you're looking for. As far as the durability of this vinyl goes, I can actually kind of speak to it from personal experience. So about two and a half or three years ago, I got my brother-in-law one of these. It's not a jackrabbit, um, but it is made by Pace Edwards and it, it's the same style, you know, it has a vinyl and aluminum on it. And he's got it on a Ford truck. Truck's parked outside all the time. And, you know, he's not the, the type of person to go out there detailing it with a toothbrush and, and going through all that trouble. So, you know, more or less uh, the cover hasn't had any treatments or anything. And within that time, I was actually pretty surprised how well, how well it's been holding up. There's a little bit of fading, you know, it's just starting to look a little dull, but if I had to bet money, you could probably come in and treat it with some type of product and, and kind of restore that. Um, so if it were me, probably be a good habit to keep the vinyl in good shape. You know, every now and again, uh, use some type of protector, some type of cleaner on here, and you know, it should look good and last for quite some time. For those of you who want to use uh, other types of accessories like a ladder rack or something, with this cover, it is going to partially cover up the stake pockets and you're really not gonna be able to utilize those to attach other types of accessories. So this is something you need to think about if you already have a ladder rack and you're wanting to put a ton of cover on or you're doing it at the same time. Um, you know, think about that and that way you can get the right parts the first time. If that's what you're looking to do, there's a series of these covers are pretty much exactly the same the rails are just gonna be a little bit different. They'll have some slots in it to allow you to use T-Track accessories. Um, and then there's other manufacturers, a, a ton of covers. Some of them will be cut different to allow you to utilize the stake pockets and things like that. So um, you're not out of luck if you're trying to use a ladder rack and a ton of cover. There's definitely gonna be something out there that'll work for you. If your truck has this grab handle to help you get in and out, which I'm assuming if it has this uh, tailgate, probably has this. Before we even started doing this, first thing I thought is this probably isn't gonna work anymore, but I was wrong. Uh, you're still able to lift it up completely and not interfere with the rails or anything. Um, and with this being a short bed and a canister style cover, the canister is going to live inside of the back of the truck and take up a little bit of space. So if this is a critical space up here for you, um, it's going to kind of come out about where the bed kind of starts to, to come in anyway. It's going to be about even with that. So pretty compact actually for what it is. It is kind of convenient. Uh, the canister doesn't interfere with the hooks here. Uh, it'll allow you to secure loads down on the bed of your truck. Sometimes in, in different trucks when you put stuff like this in there, it makes it really difficult or you lose access to one. So good to see that's still wide open. And like I said, it's pretty compact. So it'll take up about half the height of your bed. So you can still able, you're still able to slide lumber back here or whatever else. And on each side of the canister on the bottom side, you're gonna have some drain tubes as well. So if a little bit of water does happen to get inside, it'll leak out, you know, onto the ground and not inside of the bed of your truck. Ultimately, at the end of the day, a pretty nice tonneau cover. You know, it's definitely smooth and fast, uh, functional, being that it can lock and really do a good job of keeping things, help to keep things dry on the inside of your bed and look good. Can't really ask for too much more. As far as the installation goes, really not too bad. More or less, you kind of set that canister up and in, roughly into place. The rails will slide into the canister on these little tracks. Sometimes those are kind of tricky to line up, but not a huge deal. You get them in there, set everything down in place, make sure it's square, clamp it down, and that's really all there is to it. So you should be in pretty good shape. Uh, but if you're going to be installing this yourself, feel free to hang around. We'll go ahead and get started on it now. To begin our installation, we're first gonna need to take out all the packing material and everything uh, that's on our cover. So it's gonna come 
shipped with these protective pieces of wood. On each side, we'll pull those out using a 3 8 socket. And we're not going to be reusing these bolts or the wood at all. What you want to do now is take the canister and place it in your truck bed. You know, so up pretty close to the to the cab, and you, know, you could stack it on whatever you got. I'm just using a tote and a couple pieces of metal here, but we want to get it roughly in position and have the top of the canister be. Uh, two or three inches above the bed rails. You can get our rails set up now, and these are side specific. Uh, one way you can tell which side is which, usually they're labeled, but if not, this uh, notch here, that's gonna face towards the front of the truck. And then this side where the seal is, that's gonna face towards the outside of the truck. So we have the driver's side one, and we'll peel off this backing paper while we're right here from the seal as well. The way this is gonna work, we have this portion of the track here, and then we have a threaded hole there, and this opening is gonna clear all this stuff and slide into these tracks. You'll slide it all the way forward. There's a hole, a pre-drilled hole in the very back of this that we want the threaded hole and the rail to line up with, and that's how it's gonna get secured. Um, sometimes when you're doing this, it can be a little frustrating trying to get everything lined up. Uh, what I found is set it on there as best you can and just make sure that your two uh, tracks there, you know, behind this, in front of this, kind of just get it all started and, and work it into position. We'll go ahead and get that done here. Once you get this lined up and slid into place, you know, check and make sure those two holes line up that I showed you. And then you can take one of these screws, put on a split lock washer, and then a flat washer. And I like to use a little bit of anti-seize on the threads. Take our uh, Phillips head screwdriver here. And get this tightened down and once we get this side done we're going to do the same thing to the other side of our truck because it'll be set up the exact same way what you want to do now is remove that support that this was all set on that way the rails will sit you know on the actual bed and put a piece of masking tape or something here if you want and just push everything into position as far forward as it'll go um, like it would set when you're done installing it. And I'm just gonna mark where this is gonna set roughly. That way we have an idea on where we need to put um, some shims and a piece of foam. So I've got the other side done already. And now we'll just slide this back a few inches to give us some room to work here. And after looking at both sides, it looks like this piece of foam is more or less gonna ride almost right on the edge there. So probably tough to see, but I put a little mark on this. And um, before you put this sticky foam on here, it's a pretty good idea to clean this off with some rubbing alcohol, let it dry. That way we get good adhesion. We'll go ahead and just run this all the way across here, butting it up to the plastic uh, bed cap there. Once you got the foam in position, you can take these shims. So they give you a black shim and a white one. And I stuck them together and stuck them to the foam right here on the edge where the front of this is gonna meet the uh, plastic cover there. And the reason for it is once everything gets compressed and everything, the foam's gonna smash down and these shims are hard. So they're gonna keep everything level and flush with the top of our bed rail there. Once you got those shims in place on each side of our truck here, we'll take our whole assembly, 
and slide it all the way forward into its uh, position. We can start to get our clamps in place now and you'll notice one of them uh, is going to be longer. So the long one, you're going to want that to be towards the front of the truck or towards the cab and the shorter one will go towards the back or towards the tailgate. And the way these are going to work, all right, on the underside of our rail, there's going to be a little channel that this will slide in. And then you'll take this piece, slide it on like that, and since this part pivots, it's going to kind of sit against your actual bed. And when you tighten it up, it's going to cinch in and clamp everything down. And so the hardware, when you, you get this up here, you slide that on, the hardware that you're going to use, you can take one of these uh, handle bolts here, put on a split lock washer, all right, and then a flat washer. That'll slide through. And then you'll have one of these. So that'll thread on into place there. And whenever you thread that on, you can kind of see here, the back of it has this ramp in there. And with this being rounded, you're gonna want that to sit in that groove like that. So if you look on the underside of the rail, you'll see there's a notch or a groove cut out and that's to allow you to get this in place. So work that up there. And uh, slide that back into position. Take our other piece that we talked about. Get that on. And, uh, take our hardware combination. And we're just going to get this loosely snug down for the time being. And once I get this one done, we're going to do the same exact thing for the front of this rail and the other side of our truck. We want to make sure that everything is square. So what you want to do now is close your tailgate. And I'm just taking one of these uh, shims that they had given us and putting it in between the end of our rail and our tailgate. And I'll just push that all the way back on each, do this on each side. And that way we know it's gonna be square and hopefully not have to make too many adjustments by doing this part. Once you're happy with how the rails are setting, we can snug everything down. So I, what I like to do is just apply some pressure on the rail just to make it sit as flat as possible. And we'll just tighten these knobs down. And you don't need to get carried away with these you know, once it's snug, I usually bump it a little bit more and uh, that should be sufficient. So I'll do that for all four of them. At this point, you wanna make sure that the rails are gonna be parallel with each other. And so there's a measurement in the instructions which you can follow and you want this distance to be um, at that measurement or maybe even a little under. So you can measure at the back and then at the front, compare the two. Um, usually, they're, they're pretty close and you don't have to do a whole lot of uh, adjust, adjusting there. But if need be, if the measurement is way too tight, on the inside of these rails here, there will be shims pre-installed. You can remove those and that'll help loosen everything up. If it is too wide and you need to close the distance, that's why they give you extra uh, sticky shims. If that's the case, you know, you can put that where the rail meets the side of the bed and that'll close that gap up a little bit tighter. You can install these kickstands now. So these are gonna go on the uh, clamps here towards the back of the truck. And this piece is going to go through the clamp like that. Where the bolt comes through the other side of our clamp, you can take a flat washer, put that on, and then split lock washer. And this wing nut here, 
We're not going to tighten this down or anything. We're just going to get a couple threads started. With this piece, what you want it to do is go up at an angle and you want it to sit on a, a spot that is flat as possible. And I'm just going to bump that up against it here. And what this is doing when you're tightening this up and applying pressure to it, it's wanting to push up on the clamp to help level that rail. So I usually get it, you know, snug, a couple turns on it, and then you can visually look at the top of the rail and make sure everything's level and square. And, uh, you know, if you need to push the rail up more, tighten it. If you need to let it come back down, loosen it. But once you find that sweet spot and you're happy with it, that's when you can come back and tighten down the, uh, the wing nut on the other side. The kit is gonna come with this lubricating pad here and you wanna apply it to the sweep seal, particularly the, the back side, but I always do the, the front as well. And the wear strip on the bottom too. So we're just gonna run all the way down each side and get a good coating. At this point, we can test the operation of this and make sure that we're happy with it. Um, if you're having a hard time getting yours to come out, it might be locked. So the keys come with it, put it in that lock, unlock position rather, and test it out. So it should be pretty smooth all the way back. Feels good there, looks good. Everything looks straight. And when we go to let it back in, you know, it's, it's doing its own thing, pulling the cover back nice and straight. So I think we're in pretty good shape. We can get our drain tubes installed now, and these are gonna plug into the bottom of our canister. Um, and so we'll have to create some openings on the front of our bed. A lot of times uh, on some trucks, there'll be rubber plugs in there already that you could use. Ours doesn't have any of that. And I just picked out a spot, um, you know, by looking in front of this, in between the cab and this, where it's wide open, we're not gonna hit anything. And I'm going to use a hole saw just a little bit bigger than the diameter of the end of our two to drill through there. That way we can pass this through. Once you get that hole created, uh, since we have some bare metal exposed now, not a bad idea to come back with some paint and put a layer on that exposed metal. I gave our paint a minute to dry and fed the end of the hose through the hole that we created. And this is going to just plug into the bottom of our canister. You'll see there's these little tabs on it. You want those to face front and back. And uh, that's really just nothing to it. Just snaps up into position. We can grab the front cover now, this big piece. And this is going to set the very front here and kind of cover up our canister. If you look, there will be a small hole in the top of that. And right here, there's a nut, and you can adjust that front to back, all right? And so we're just gonna line that up. Get as close as we can. These are the screws that they give you. They have some Loctite on the threads already, at least ours do. If yours don't, not a bad idea to put some on there. And I'm just gonna get each side started a few threads. That way, you know, we can kind of adjust this how we want it before we completely tighten it down. With the cover completely open, you can grab the pull strap and there's a section of it that has um, some hook and loop fastener attached to it and they give you a, another strip of it. I'm gonna put this on like that. You can find a place to stick this to the underside of a rail Right, somewhere in there and the whole point of this is just to keep this up off the ground 
you know, if you're gonna be loading stuff up in here. So I clean the bottom off that and we'll uh, just stick this to it there. With that done though, we can close up our cover. We'll shut the tailgate and that's really all there is to it. So that'll finish up our look at and our installation of the Pace Edwards Jackrabbit tonneau cover on our 2024 Chevrolet Silverado 1500.